Welcome to Some Awesome Films, I'm Rob. We're doing Aaron 70, The Greatest Treasure. There's this little kid in Castaway Cove who says uh, he's found a treasure map and he wants to go find the treasure. But of course he can't go find the treasure. It has seven locations we need to check out. But uh, first of all, instead of going to check these out, we're going to have to talk to pretty much every citizen of Castaway Cove and find out what they know about this treasure map and the people who owned it. So, these little flashing dots, go talk to all of them. Start with the little girl, she's closest. What's up? Know anything about treasure maps? And she'll be like, yeah, my mum told me shit. Why am I talking to you? Why don't I just go talk to your mum? Anyway, after we talk to them all, we go to our world map in our wizard's companion and see these little red dots. These real, well, not dots, they're stars. And we go, hmm, what are these stars? We should go check them out, where they are. Sorry, I zoomed in too far. There we go. Red stars. Go to all of them. And you'll find these stones. There's a stone at every single one of them. Read it because it's interesting. And you'll be like, what the hell do these stones mean? And uh, I don't know. Find out. Let's keep going. Let's go to the next one. There's another stone. Tiny Tim's treasure. Good old Tiny Tim had treasure here. Good man. I like Tiny Tim. He was tiny. His name was Tim. There's another one here. Discovery on Swan Island. Not only does Swan Island look like a bird, it's actually covered in the things. Well, how about that? There's some good information for you. The booty of Billy Goat's Bluff. Well, there's booty here at Billy Goat's Bluff. Climbing the hills, we found some treasure. And, uh, that's great news. Let's go to another one. Here's another one. There's treasure in the no mines of some kind. The captain found treasure here. That's great. Found it as soon as they landed. That is productive for you. Let's go to the next one. A close inspection, uh, there's a bunch of runes. Everything needs to be translated. So you need to translate all of these things. Not really. You don't have to do that right now. We'll do that later. Let's look at the next one. Uh, what's the stone then? Some kind of writing on it too? Well, about time. Because uh, this is the last one we're going to look at. So you should work out what they are by now, Drippy. So we've looked at all the stones. We've gone back to the kid. We have all these uh, Nazcan runes. And uh, we need to decipher them. And he'll be like, here, put them all together. They'll make a, a word or a sentence or some kind of a clue as to what they mean. So we do that. And it comes out as Kubla 3. So like K-U-B-L-A-I uh, 1 or 3. Yeah, 3. Why did I say 1? I thought the I was a 1, I'll be honest. But it's 3. So K-U-B-A-L. So K-U-B-L-A-I Three. There we go. I got through it in the end, but it is K U B A L I three. And then you go talk to Kablai, Kabalai on the uh, floating ship. It's actually it'll take you to him. And then we're gonna go to this island up here. Go there. Use rejuvenate on the stone. Then you can read it. Then it'll turn out it's a tombstone. Then go back to the kid. He'll give you a buttload of stamps. And then be like, great, we solved it. So remember, K-U-B-L-A-I-3, I think. You should probably read the description or whatever to find out what it actually was.